The 2011 BSU football season is still five months away, but the Beavers were on the field for their first spring practice earlier today. After going 7-4 last season, the Beavers will have a lot of key positions to fill this year. The BSU football team had more answers than questions last season with all starters on offense returning and 8 out of 11 returning on defense. This year it's the complete opposite with more questions than answers. I think that, that brings a lot of excitement to our team though. I think we got guys competing for spots, uh, new leaders are emerging among the team. The, the spring ball is a great time to fill those answers too and uh, We'll, we'll get through these 15 practices and then we'll, we'll have the summer and come fall, you know, we'll see who's ready to play. The big question for the Beavers this year is who will replace Derek Edholm at quarterback. Head coach Jeff Tesh says junior Lance Rongstead is probably the leading candidate and it's his job to lose. I'd say he certainly has the inside track at quarterback just because of his experience, but he certainly is rusty there. Uh, he missed a lot of the season last year due to an injury. He was playing a lot of uh, wide receiver also last year. So the, the 15 days of spring practice uh, uh, are going to be much needed for Lance. I still got to have the mentality be the best that I can be. And no matter if someone comes in who's better than me, if, if as long as I'm playing as hard as I can and putting in the extra film work and lifting weights hard all summer long, I don't, I don't feel anyone can take that from me because I have the desire to keep that job. Another concern on offense will be the weapons surrounding the quarterback. Junior running back Dustin Croplin returns, but the Beavers lose running back Stephen Battle and several wide receivers, including a thousand yard receiver Andrew Schultz. You know, we have shoes to fill, but we also have the talent to fill those shoes. I mean, some of these young guys are opening a lot of eyes. I mean, just friends, we have two running freshman running backs, young freshmen. I mean, they're you know, they're, they're, they have more talent than I had when I came in as a freshman. You know, that's really, it's, it's really nice to see. Not only do the Beavers have questions on the offensive side of the ball, they also have questions on the defensive side. They lose their entire defensive line, including defensive ends Rob Wills and Jordan Lardnois, who combined for more than 12 sacks last season. They were big, strong, experienced players. We have some players waiting in the wings who I think can do it. They just haven't done it yet in a game. we got some young kids that are very eager, so they're going to play hard, but it's tough to take away all the game experience those two seniors had. Even with all the questions surrounding different positions, the Beavers hope to have them answered by the season opener. And the annual Green and White Spring Game will be Thursday, April 21st at 7 p.m. Admission is free there. couple notes on the season. There will be three night home games, including the season opener on August 25th, of course, against Minot State, the other two September 17th and 24th. Other notes tonight, BSU men's hockey, former BSU hockey defenseman Ryan Adams and Dan McIntyre have signed with the Rapid City Rush in the Central Hockey League, and the Minnesota Timberwolves fall to Chicago 108-91.